acute kidney injury, or AKI, is a common complication of the COVID-19 disease, and it contributes significantly to the morbidity and mortality associated with COVID-19. The reasons as to why the prevalence of AKI is such a high level in COVID-19 patients are, no, are not known, and to date, uh, there have been no detailed studies looking at the molecular markers underlying this phenomenon. So in this uh, study, uh, using both routine light microscopy, ultrastructural imaging, and multiomics approach, including transcriptomics, proteomics, and novel mass cytometry, we demonstrate that COVID-19 renal pathology bears remarkable morphological and molecular similarities to sepsis-associated AKI. I'm Timuchin Tanner, a transplant surgeon and immunologist at Mayo Clinic. I'm Mariam Priya Alexander, renal pathologist at Mayo Clinic. Our manuscript entitled Acute Kidney Injury in Severe COVID-19 has similarities to sepsis-associated kidney injury, a multiomic study, will appear online and in an upcoming issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. In a recent meta-analysis, uh, it was found that the prevalence of AKI among COVID-19 patients that are hospitalized is about 28%, and this percentage goes up to 46 in critically ill patients requiring uh, ICU admissions. 20% of these patients require renal replacement therapy. And if you look at the mortality in those patients who are admitted to intensive care units, you find that about 76% experience AKI, whereas only 8% uh, of those uh, without the AKI have a mortality. The broad finding of our, our autopsy pathology study are that COVID-19 AKI is characterized by an immune-mediated phenotype similar to sepsis AKI. This study provides evidence for immune-mediated injury based on light microscopic and multiomic analyses. At the light microscopic level, we demonstrated that COVID-19 renal injury was characterized by a macrophage and CD3 positive T cell dominant microvascular inflammation. The microvascular inflammation, which is glomerulitis and peritubular capillaritis, was also noted in sepsis AKI. But this was not identified in a control cohort of AKI secondary to other causes. We studied the phenotype of cellular infiltrates and spatial architecture of AKI in COVID-19 kidneys using a high prion imaging system coupled to a Helios time of flight mass cytometer. And our findings are that there's a evidence of adaptive immune response suggested by the clustering of CD3 positive, CD45 RO positive cells resembling activated or memory T cells in the tubular interstitium in each case. The predominant innate immune response was underscored by an enriched population of macrophages, as de uh, determined by CD68 positivity, both in inter interstitium and glomerular capillary loops. We also used a, a novel computational multiplex neighborhood analysis, which showed that the CD3 positive, CD4 positive T cells were enriched in close proximity to antigen presenting cells within the kidneys compared to CD8 T cells and non T cells. Transcriptomic studies were also performed in the three cohorts of AKI. For this, we used the nanostring platform and the human organ transplant panel that profiles the expression of 770 genes associated with different pathways related to immune response and tissue injury. Our gene expression analysis revealed that COVID-19 AKI had a significant enrichment of multiple functional annotation transcript sets that included apoptosis, MHC class one and two expression, and T helper one and T reg differentiation. The gene expression patterns of the COVID-19 AKI resembled that of sepsis AKI, but was significantly different from AKI of other causes. We also did uh, proteomic studies for this uh, study, and the clustering analysis was conducted to all proteins found in three groups, and a heat map was generated. And in the pathway analysis, what we found was that the COVID-19 AKI kidneys were enriched in pathways involved in inflammation, as well as counter-regulatory mechanisms to in inflammation, such as mTOR, necroptosis, and sirtuin pathways. And this was also noted in sepsis AKI kidneys. 
We also found that there was increased apoptotic cell death in COVID and sepsis AKI kidneys compared to kidneys with AKI secondary to other reasons. And this finding was confirmed with histologic analysis using the tunnel assay, which showed significantly upregulated apoptos apoptosis in both COVID-19 and sepsis AKI kidneys. Mitochondrial dysfunction may play a central role in COVID-19 AKI. This was uh, evident from our pathway analysis of our proteomic data, which demonstrated that the ceramide signaling pathway was upregulated uniquely in COVID-19 kidneys as compared to non-sepsis and sepsis AKI. Additionally, oxidative phosphorylation was downregulated in COVID-19 AKI. This pro-pathway analysis as well as our ultrastructural findings of significant mitochondrial injury suggests that ceramide-induced apoptosis by a mitochondrial dysfunction might play a role in COVID-19-related tubular cell death. In our study, we did not find evidence of direct viral infection. Uh, this study could not have been possible without the expertise and support of many clinicians and researchers at Mayo Clinic. Uh, this is quite evident by the fact that the study is a collaborative effort of people from four different departments, five divisions, two centers, and two core facilities at Mayo Clinic. In addition to that, the study brought together investigators from several outside uh, institutions. And the findings suggest that the renal supportive treatments should be instituted early on in COVID-19 associated AKI as in the case of sepsis-associated AKI. More specifically, our data point to mitochondrial injury as potential target for therapeutic intervention. And of note, several mitochondrial target therapies have recently been developed and tested in preclinical models of AKI. In addition to the findings that will help guide therapy for COVID-19 patients with AKI, this study with its novel use of multi-omics, detailed analysis of spatial architecture, and tissue-based immunophenotyping will pave the way to perform similar molecular analyses in different disease conditions relating to immune-mediated renal injuries. This will be performed in both native and transplant settings. We hope you find the uh, findings of our study um, interesting and relevant in your clinical practice. We invite you to read our manuscript in the online and upcoming edition of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.